Magandang buhay po mga kasambuhay. Ako po si Father Domi Guzman ng Society of St. Paul, Doing All for the Gospel. At binabati ko po kayo kasama po ng aking mga kasamahan mga pari, mga brothers, mga temporarily professed na mga brothers. Gayun din po ang ating mga seminarista sa aming pong misyon dito po sa Pilipinas at Macau. At gayon din po, binabati namin kayo sa ngalan po ng mga pari ng Archdiocese of Manila at ng staff ng TV Maria. Ngayon po ang unang araw ng September 2019, Pasko na, Ber na. <laughs> at ito naman po ang unang linggo, syempre, ng September, pero sa pagbibilang po ng simbahan, ito po ang 22nd A Sunday of Ordinary Time. O, 22nd Sunday of Ordinary Time. Palapit na palapit na po tayo sa panahon ng Adviento. And uh, para po sa aming mga Paulines, no? Society of St. Paul, Daughters of St. Paul, Pious Disciples of the Divine Master, mga uh, Pastorelli Sisters, ayan, no? at ganyan din po mga Aggregate Institute ng Holy Family, Jesus the Priest, ay, mga Pauline Cooperators natin, at yung mga Anunciatina po natin, ang Pauline family po, every first Sunday of the month, tawag po namin dito ay Sunday of Jesus Divine Master. Okay? So, binabati rin po natin, syempre, ang ating po mga regular na mga kasambuhay, yung pong mga homebound na mga may sakit, lalo-lalo na po, ang ating pong mga ever hopeful at very prayerful na mga cancer patients. No? May the Lord touch your prayer and touch you with His healing love. No? And then, yun din po mga elderly at gayon din ang ating pong mga caregivers, kayo man po ay mga concerned relatives o mga professionals, pagpalain po ang inyong ginagawa. And uh, we'd like to pray also for our personnels on duty mga pulis, mga militar, sinasama na rin po natin dyan ang mga health workers, mga doktor, mga nurse, etc. na naka-duty po sa mga emergency rooms ng mga hospitals. At syempre po, hindi natin makakalimutan ang atin pong libu-libu na kaugnayan, linggo-linggo at araw-araw even. Ito pong ating mga OFWs. Mabuhay po kayong lahat. And we'd like also to pray for our mission partners who are making it possible for us to reach out to you every Sunday and every day sa ating pong misa. Uh, mula po sa Canada, ang grupo po ni Brother Alex Pideris. At dito naman po sa Pilipinas, uh, si na Leslie Masigan, ang kanyang pamilya, si Miguel at Sami at si Jake, si Tony at Lourdes Choa, Diyan po sa Corinthians uh, Garden, no? si Ed at Norma Arrojado at si George at Noemi Villarus, sila po'y napaka-active na mga members ng Buklod Healing Community dyan po sa Balete Drive. No? Every Saturday morning, meron pong healing mass sa Buklod Center sa Balete Drive Extension. Si Didith at Joey Jacob, si Mariel Diaz, ang kusina ni Kambal, ni Irma at Delio San Miguel, si Corazon Ochoa at Rosita Kauyan dyan po sa Discovery Bay sa Hong Kong. Oy, i-feedback nyo naman kami. How are you, ha? Sa Hong Kong. Sana you're all safe. Si Alma Gonzales, si Romel Salvador, Gemma Candela, May Asuncion Recio, Rachel Esteban, Leilani Paladio Himotea, at ang ating pong hindi nagpakilala na anonymous na lab offeror dyan po sa Capitol Hills. We'd like also to pray and remember in this Mass ang ating pong mga pilgrimage friends mula po sa Orange Group ng March 2019, lalo-lalo na po yung uh, magkakaklase na kung tawagin po nila ay Spell. Ayan. Ito po yung magkakaklase ng high school sa La, La, Concord, La Consolacion. La Consolacion, dyan po sa Kaloocan. 
And then, si, uh, ang gayon din po, binabati natin ang Holy Land Group ng Journeys of Faith ng October 2018 na kinabibilangan po ng grupo ng mga Recoletos Jubilarians. No? Si Father Randy, Father Charlie, Father Joe Alves, at ganyan din po ang ating Mary Noel Priest. Diyan po sa Taiwan, si Father Joy. At ang ating uh, very, very uh, uh, lively group, ang Cora Cabral, Geraldine Lee, Grace, at uh, Mary Joyce Brillo, si Grace Lara, no? si Jimmy Olaso, si Attorney Jane San Benaventura, si Nino Molina, at uh, siyempre si Willie at Arlina Onglao, at uh, si Anton Santos at si Juliet O'Reilly. Kumusta na kaya sila? No? Si Mr. and Mrs. Benji Datok at uh, siyempre po ang atin pong uh, privilege na uh, sinolemnize a marriage si Chrissy, no? anak po ni Highland at ni Rose Lissy. At ganyan din po si Rosebel D. at William D. Diyan po sa Green Hills at uh, si uh, Grace Pulido Tan at Nonoy Tan at ang grupo ni Tan Tuiko, si Dana, Kathleen at Tal, mga lawyers itong mga ito. At ang very active naman sa marriage encounter na si Iris at Val Ribeiro at syempre si Silvet. Binabati din po natin ang atin pong uh, recto and friends na nakasama din po natin sa Holy Land na March 2019, ang uh, Sister Lulu at Brother Manny Recto at ang kanilang buong angkan at mga kaibigan na kinabibilangan po ni Pearl at ni Rafi Rodriguez. We would like also to greet and to pray para po sa ating mga obispo na nagdiriwang po ng kanilang anibersaryo ng Episcopal Ordination para po sa linggong ito, September 1, noong 2007, inordain si Bishop Francis de Leon ng Antipolo. Oy, naging profesor ko pa yan sa San Carlos Seminary. No? And then, September 4, 2015 naman, ang Episcopal Ordination po ni uh, Bishop Oscar Jaime Florencio na siya pong nasa military ordinariate uh, sa siya po ang uh, kasalukuyang bishop ng lahat po ng mga personnel militar and of course my special thanks to my friends at uh, diyan po sa Gerochi Dental and Implant Center pinangungunahan po ni Dr. Rico Martin at Ik Axel Ger Der Gerochi at gayon din po si Doktora Azel Jade Tan. No? Maraming maraming salamat po. And uh, blessings also and prayers para po sa ating mga love offerers, ang Big Sky Nation Incorporated, si Linda Skaggs, Linda Skaggs, ang San Pablo Rizal at Almansa Group, si Ruzel Longo, isa pong hindi nagpakilala mula sa San Fernando, La Union, si Cinderella Galimpin, Noel Areta, Miguel Palameño Arucan, Miguel Alcantara, si Jeffrey Porcalia, Tita Anos, uh, John Dexter Servitillo, Ronald Tabora, uh, Gemma Candela, of course, no? si Marie Chris, Aicardo Rosalinda Santa Maria at si Lydia Felipe Pascual, mabuhay po kayong lahat. Okay, ngayon po sa atin pong uh, uh, matutunghayan na mga pagbasa sa atin pong misa ngayong ikadalawamput dalawang linggo ng karaniwang panahon, ang tinutukoy po ng mga pagbasa is about the virtue of humility. Humility kababa ang loob. Alam niyo yung salitang humility galing po pala yan sa salitang humus. Humus ibig sabihin soil, no? So para bang pinapakita sa atin how important humility is. You cannot walk without your feet on the soil, ha? So 
napaka-basic po na humility sa buhay. Kailangan, kailangan po natin saan man tayo dalhin ng buhay to be always humble. At sa first reading po natin mula sa aklat ng Sirach, isa pong wisdom literature ng Old Testament, pinapakita po dito sa first reading natin yung personal at human level ng humility. Sabi nga po ni uh, St. Thomas Aquinas, grace builds on nature. At papano natin binubuo ang humility as a human virtue? Sabi po dyan, humble yourself. Dapat ituro mo yan sa sarili mo. Kasi alam nyo po, totoo yun, natural sa tao na pangalagaan ng sarili. Natural sa tao na isentro ang sarili. Natural sa atin na survival ko muna. Kaya humility has to be taught to oneself. Dapat talagang sasadyain mo ito para sa iyong sarili. Pangalawa, sabi doon, Seek not things beyond your strength. Ang humility po, may kasama pong pagtanggap kung sino ka. Yan. Dapat alam mo na hindi ka only. Meron kang limitations. At kasama po dyan yung humility sa pagtanggap ng sino tayo. Humility, according to Sirach, is also appreciating proverbs. So, ibig po sabihin, we are willing to learn from other people's wisdom, from other people's experiences. Yan. That is also one way to be humble. No? Uh, and then, sabi po dyan sa second reading naman, ano naman ang religious basis ng humility? Ang religious basis po ng humility is that we are always walking, we are always approaching the majesty of God. Tayo po'y nabubuhay sa luwalhati ng Diyos. At therefore, we have nothing to be proud of even our virtues come from God. Di po ba? No? Of course, ang pinakamahalaga po yung gospel reading natin mula sa Panginoong Yesus, Luke 14, verse 1, and then verse 7 to 14. Luke 14. Uh, ang dating po neto sa akin, ang humility may social side din. Okay? Merong personal side, merong religious side, meron ding social side. At ano yung social side? Sabi po ng Panginoong Isus sa Ebanghelyo, alam mo, natural kung ikaw ay magpapadala sa lipunan, sino ba yung kinikilala ng lipunan na tanyag, popular? Hindi ba yung palaging nasa place of honor? Yung palaging associated sa mga leading? O, yung mga leading Parisis, no? yung mga talagang alta di sosyedad. No? Pero nasabi ni Lord sa Gospel, Hoy, Kung magiging humble ka, don't look for the place of honor. Don't look for social graces. Yan, no? Kung ikaw ay mahilig sa pasosyal-sosyal, delikado yan. Yan eh, makaka-influence sa iyong virtues. Kaya nga sabi po dito ni, ni Jesus sa gospel, dapat balansihin mo kanya. Pumunta ka hindi doon sa mayayaman. Kung hindi, pakisamahan mo din yung mahirap, yung pulubi, yung uh, blind, yung uh, hindi makalakad, yung mga socially unattractive. Yan. Kung ibabalansi mo sarili mo, then the virtue of humility is yours. O sana po, sa ating sariling mga buhay, we would know how to make life a school of humility. Narito na po ang ating banal na misa mula po sa oratorio ni Maria Reina ng mga apostol 7708 St. Paul Road San Antonio Village Makati.
pagpalang araw po sa ating lahat. Sa atin pong pagsisimula, pakibati muna yung katabi at pakisabihan, salamat at narito ka. We have to make it a habit to always thank the Lord for the gift of presence. Lalo na sa ating mga kapatid na OFW, nalalayo sa pamilya, so habang kasama natin sila, pasalamatan natin ng Diyos sa biyaya ng presensya. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today's gospel parable about getting invited to dinner is concerned not with table manners, but with our inner disposition before the table of the Lord, His offer of salvation. In the Lord's feast, there is no place for self-righteousness, nor for the only to human desire for honor and recognition. Rather, there are places for humility, joy, and thanksgiving for the good things we have been invited to share. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. might give her of every good gift put into our hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen A reading from the book of Sirach. My child, conduct your affairs with humility, and you will be loved more than a giver of gifts. Humble, humble yourself the more, the greater you are, and you will find favor with God. What is too sublime for you, seek not. Into things beyond your strength, Search not. The mind of a sage appreciates proverbs, and an attentive ear is the joy of the wise. 
Water quenches a flaming fire and arms atone for sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. The just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. A bountiful rain you shower down, O God, upon your inheritance. You restored the land when it languished. Your flock settled in it. In your goodness, O God, you provided it for the needy. God, in your goodness, you have made a home for the poor. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, you have not approached that which could be touched in a blazing fire and gloomy darkness and storm and a trumpet blast and a voice speaking words such that those who heard begged that no message be further addressed to them. No, you have approached Mount Zion and the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and countless angels in festal gathering and the assembly of the firstborn enrolled in heaven, and God the judge of all, and the spirits of the just made perfect. And Jesus, the mediator of a new covenant, and the sprinkled blood that speaks more eloquently than that of Abel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees, and the people there were observing him carefully. He told a parable to those who had been invited, noticing how they were choosing the places of honor at the table. When you are invited by someone to a wedding banquet, do not recline the table in the place of honor. A more distinguished guest than you may have been invited by him. And the host who invited both of you may approach you and say, Give your place to this man. And then you would proceed with embarrassment to take the lowest place. Rather, when you are invited, go and take the lowest place so that when the host comes to you, he may say, My friend, move up to a higher position. Then you will enjoy the esteem of your companions at the table. For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but the one who humbles himself will be exalted. Then he said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they may invite you back and have your repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Sisters and brothers, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Marahil sa ating mga Pilipino, kapag merong okasyon o pagdiriwang, lahat ay invited. Kahit hindi ka kilala nung host, basta may kainan, habay invited ang lahat. 
yun ay kulturang Pinoy. Sa kulturang Hudyo, iba. Ang iniimbitahan lamang nila ay yung itinuturing nilang kanilang ka-level. Kasi yung tao nag-invite sa kanila bilang pagtugon, iimbitahan din sila pabalik. And that gives them honor. Kung kaya't sa araw na ito, nais kong bigyang diin yung dalawang punto na nakaugat sa natawag nating table fellowship. Una, ang pagkainan ay lugar ng pagdiriwang occasion. Pero ang tanong sa ngayon, tunay nga bang naging lugar ng pagdiriwang ang pagkainan? Come to think of it, how many families today eat together? How many families today, even as they eat together, converse during mealtime? I mean, ay kwento nga sa akin. No? Akala ko talaga eh, kwento laang. Ito to. Mahabang table. Kailangan ng kanin. Imbis na paabot ho ng kanin. Ang ginawa, tinex yung kapatid sa dulo, paabot ng kanin. The table, agape, is a place to communicate and to celebrate not to alienate one another. Kapag ako ko'y nagkakasal, inaalam ko yung kwento ng aking ikinakasal. At ako'y tunay na natuwa sa kwento ng isang couple na ginawa nilang ugali na kahit isa lang isang araw sabay silang kumain. Sabi, itatanong nyo bakit ganoon? E nasa abroad yung isa, o yung isa ay nasa Pilipinas. Ang ginagawa nila, sabay silang kakain. Live. Kaya kung sabihin ng isa doon, ay kakain tayo ng noodles o ng ramen, ay di ni sa Pilipinas yung, asa, yung babae, eh, ganun din. At abang sila kumakain yan, live, nag-uusap sila. Technology can bridge the gap, but technology can also hinder communication. Kaya hamon sa atin, maging si Pope Francis na sinasabi niya, kapag kumakain sa pagkainan, walang gadgets, walang cellphone, go back to the basics. Communicate. Talk. Napakahalaga nito. Sapagkat sa pagkainan, hindi lamang ang pagkain ng ating ipinapasalamat sa Diyos, bagkos ang bawat presensya ng miyembro ng pamilya. Kapatid, do you, do you still thank the Lord for the gift of presence, for the gift of people around you? Bago yung Misa natin kanina, may nakausap akong staff, kaya eh, nagbibiro na lamang ako. Huh? Sa binibiro ko, sabi ko, kung ang presensya ng isang tao ay eh, nagtatanggal ng iti sa iyong muka, abay, pakawalan mo na. Pag ganyan, walang forever yan. Huh? Kasi ang tunay na nagmamahal, nagbibigay sa iyo ng lakas, ng inspirasyon, na kahit sa mahirap na sitwasyon, you are capable to smile at yung itin ay hindi pilit but a smile that really comes from within a smile that really comes from our, from our own experience of goodness of which we, if we are to spiritualize our own experience of God in theology ito yung tinatawag nating lived experience pangalawang punto ang pagkainan ay lugar ng paghubog a place of formation. It is in the table agape that we teach children values. Pag kumakain, anak, ito yung tamang pamamaraan ng pagkain. No? Tamang pagsandok ng kanin. No? Hindi yung buhangin na pinapala. Pag kumakain ka, no? sabi nga matatanda, huwag kang magsalita kung puno yung bibig. No, ako po yung nasa sa seminaryo, lagi kong binabantayan, yung mga seminarista ang mahilig sa Arayat o sa Mount Apo. Yun bang yung kanin eh, naka parang bundok? Uh, uh, nasaan yung ulam na mo itatago? <laughs> Para pag may natirang ulam mo, wala pa ako kukuha. <laughs> uh, gawain din namin yun, ng seminarista kami. <laughs> Ngayon, nung pinuna ako sila, binago ng seminarista. Hindi na Mount Apo o Mount Arayat. Naging reclamation area na. Kasi papatagi na yung kanin. <laughs> yung isang bandihado eh, isang, ta- isang tao kalahati na kaagad. No? And that is a place where to correct them. Kapatid, huwag naman ganyan. Eh, pag nasa labas ka, nakakahiya. 
O doon sa pamilya naman. Anak, hindi yun yung tama. Baka sabihin nila, patay gutom ka. Place of formation. It is also the time we're in. Tinatanong, o anak, kamusta na? Ano nangyayari sa iyo? O ma, nahirapan ako ganun. O doon na, papasok. O anak, kaya mo yan. Nandito kami, sumusuporta sa iyo. The table agape is a place of formation. Even in today's gospel, Jesus slightly reprimanded the Pharisee. So sabi niya, kung mag ka, wag yung kapamilya o yung mayayaman na pwedeng magbigay pabalik sa iyo. Bagkus, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind. Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay. Kahapon, meron akong kausap na uh, kagagraduate lang ng college. Tawag niya sa akin, editor. Kasi hindi man ako yung official editor niya sa kanyang thesis, ay eh, nagpapatulong mag-edit. Ngayon meron siyang ipopost, pina-edit niya rin sa akin. I was touched by a person kung saan ikinwento niya yung karanasan niya. Kasi after her graduation, hindi siya nag, nag-birthday siya, hindi niya isa-nerebrate sa bahay bago sa isang orphanage. At ikinwento niya, merong isang bata doon na lumapit sa kanya. Na? Nginitian siya. Sabi niya, napaka-innocent ng iti. Niyakap siya. At sinabi, Ate, salamat. Our initial concept of an orphan or an orphanage is a place of people, of children, who are longing for love, for attention, for care. And yet, ito, sabi niya, akala ko, ako ang nagbibigay sa kanila, hindi. It is in their own sense of nothingness that they share their genuine smile and their loving embrace. Kaya ang panguling sinabi niya sa outreach na yon, we fill them with food. They fill us with love. Mga kapatid, sa araw na ito, ito din yung hamon sa atin. To once again celebrate the gift of togetherness. To once again celebrate the table agape. Because what we celebrate in the Eucharist, in the breaking of the bread, uh, the breaking of the word, and in the breaking of the bread, continue when we go home. The Eucharistic table becomes the table agape at home. It is a celebration because what we celebrate is the presence of one another, a presence of blessing from the Lord. Ang hamon sa atin, kapatid saan ka man, nasa Pilipinas ka man o sa nalaba, nasa labas, sino man ang iyong nakakalubilo at nakakasama, ibahagi ang presensya, ang presensya ng biyaya, ang presensya ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Pagpalain tayo na. Please rise. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray to the Father for the needs of the church, that we may become more meek and humble people. Let our response be, Lord, hear your people. Lord, hear your people. May the Church and her leaders strive for humble service and simplicity rather than for power and influence, we pray. Lord, hear your people. 
may government officials and civil servants see their office as a public trust and so serve the people with sincerity, dedication, and competence, we pray. Lord, hear your people. May we generously share not only the what we have, but also who we are with, the poor, the crippled, the lame, and the blind, we pray. Lord, hear your people. May all those wounded and belittled by our words and actions forgive us and inspire us to respect others more, we pray. Lord, hear your people. May the Lord welcome our departed ones to his heavenly banquet, we pray. Lord, hear your people. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, hear your people. Father of hope and consolation, hear the prayers of your people. May we work for your kingdom in patience and perseverance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks to the Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world, that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son. By his obedience, we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As in exaltation, we acclaim.
are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you behold us ready to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit remember lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with francis our pope luis antonio our bishop all the religious missionaries and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, especially Romeo, Marvin, Nicola, and Josefina, in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, Peter and Paul, Blessed James Alberione, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Muli, uh, sa pagbibigayan ng kapayapaan, huwag lang kong yumuko. Kung FC ho kayo feeling close ng katabi mo, yakapin mo, malay may pinagdaraanan yan. Paramdam mo, sumasa iyo ang mapagpala. at mapaghilom na presensya ni Jesus. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Those who cannot receive communion, join us in praying the spiritual communion. Jesus, Master, you assure me I am the life. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood will have eternal life. In baptism and in the sacrament of reconciliation, you have communicated to me this life of yours. Now you nourish it by making yourself my food. Take my heart. Detach it from the vain things of the world. With all my heart, I love you above all things, because you are infinite good and eternal happiness. Amen. Prayer of Overseas Workers Saint Michael the Archangel, I am about to leave my family, and the physical and emotional distance affect me. The physical distance means I will be living in a totally different culture where everything will be new. The emotional distance implies that no longer will I be able to embrace my loved ones when I want to. You have done special mission for God and you did it confidently, trusting that everything will be all right because our Creator has everything in His hands. Share with me the same faith. Make this travel a part of my mission here on earth. 
I have to live for the good of my family and loved ones. I have to live to do God's will. While I am away from them, protect them from dangers. Let them feel my presence through my letters and calls. Make us a strong family, even though we are far from one another. Saint Michael, through your intercession, may Jesus be the light of the family and Mary be our mother too. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed with this sacrament from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. Lord God, from the abundance of your mercies, provide for your servants and ensure their safety so that strengthened by your blessings, they may at all times abound in thanksgiving and bless you with an ending exaltation through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in the peace and love of Christ and be a blessing to your family and to one another. Thanks be to God. Nagpapasalamat sa ating paring tagapagdiwang at ngayon naman po tayo magtutuloy-tuloy sa ating pabaong katikismo. Alam po natin na inuutay-utay po natin ito pong uh, sulat po ni Pope Francis Laudato Si tungkol po sa ating responsibilidad ng uh, pag-aaruga ng ating common home na kung tawagin po natin ay kalikasan sa mundo. At uh, nandito nga po si Pope Francis sa pagninilay muna niya sa chapter 1, ano ba ang kaganapan sa mundo na dapat maging aware tayo para sa ganon magawa natin, how do we take care of our common home creation na ginawa ng Diyos? Dito po sa verse 53 or paragraph 53, ang tinutukoy naman po ni Pope Francis, yung tinatawag po niya na, problema ng mga weak responses. Alam natin mga problema, alam natin ang mga usapin ng ekolohiya, pero kanya, mahihina ang atin, matamlay ang ating mga response, ang atin pong mga tugon. No? Sabi nga niya, uh, Never before have we hurt and mistreated our common home. Pero napakahina ng ating ginagawang remedyo. Unang-una kanya, there is lack of leadership capable of striking out new paths. Totoo po yan. Kasi nga, partly na discuss natin last time, karamihan sa mga opinion makers natin nakalutang sa ere. Wala namang alam sa ekolohiya. Mayayaman. Hindi naman naapektuhan ng storm surge. Hindi naman naapektuhan ng water pollution kasi nakakabili ng mineral water. Bariya lang yun sa kanila. So, 
lack of leadership capability. Pangalawa kanya, uh, sa mundo napaka-weak ng legal framework, no? Para sa uh, atin pong uh, protection of the ecosystem. Bakit kaya ganon? Sabi niya kasi napakaraming mga interest groups, economic interest, special interest, no? At dito nga tinalakay niya kung minsan eh dahil sa usaping politika, dahil sa usaping ekonomikal, ekonomiya o pakikisama sa mga mayayaman, pakikisama sa mga dayuhang namumuhunan ay uh, hindi pinoporso ng isang bansa ang mga legal system. Di ba? Totoo naman 'yan. O aminin po natin, nangyayari talaga 'yan, ano? Na eh wala, wala. Uh, just just ang atin pong response. Another thing sabi po ni Pope Francis, eh napakesporadic ng ating mga tugon at kuminsa para bang philanthropy lang ang tingin natin. Oh. Yung mga korporasyon, huwag kayo magagalit, no? Pero yung mga korporasyon, tama, philanthropic lang ang style nila kapag ecology. O itong taong ito, lahat ng empleyado magtatanim sa bundok ng ganito, puro mahogani. Ipil-ipil. O, pero ang mga sinira doon, mga magaganda mga kahoy, no? So, napaka-philanthropic lang ng ating pong tugon. O, oh, sa taong ito, tayo pupunta sa isang beach resort. At habang kayo nag-swimming, tayo maglilinis din. Philanthropic lang. Dapat continuous, consistent yung atin pong programa. No? Another thing, weak response, sabi po ni Pope Francis. Kasi alam niyo, sabi niya, uh, alam natin ang usapin, pero we are sensitive, pero kanya, we have not changed our habits of consumption. Tama po yan. We have not changed our habits of consumption. Alam natin na kumokonti na yung uh, mga bagay na, halimbawa, tulad ng mga puno, yan. Pero, tingnan nyo, mabilis pa rin tayong umaksay ng mga papel o sa magang gagaling yung papel sa puno, sa mga halaman. Di ba? O, oh. Sasabihin natin, oh, we are uh, ecology friendly. Yan. Pero grabe ang papel na ginagamit natin. So, galing din naman niya sa kalikasan. ba? Diba? Or uh, sabihin natin, oh, kami ecology friendly. Yan. Oh. Pero ano pang mga ibang ginagawa natin na kung minsan ay hindi tugma. Ah, yung segregation, waste segregation. Sa amin na lang dito sa seminaryo kung minsan di pa namin magawa, no? Ito yung nabubulok, di nabubulok, wala. Kung minsan halo-halo din eh, no? So, uh, we have ourselves also to blame, no? And of course, sabi po ni Pope Francis, there is the deified market. So, ang ibig po sabihin niya, eh alam niyo, kanya eh napakalakas ng influence ng pera. Economic consideration, pera, puhunan, business. No? Kaya hindi natin talaga mapangalagaan ang atin pong dapat alagaan sa ating ecosystem. Although, Pope Francis, to balance it off, sabi niya, meron din naman tayong mga nakikitang napaaganda na mga environmental improvements. Yung mga ilog na dati ay talagang polluted, nililinis yung mga native woodland kanya ni restore natin na secondary forest at uh, yung mga buildings na itinatayo kanya nagiging energy efficient halimbawa no so nagpapakita lamang na kanya if we want to do it ah uh, if we want to do it we are capable of intervening positively yun lang nga kailangan mas maging seryoso ang atin pong pananagutan sa nilikha at kalikasan na ipinamanan po sa atin ng Diyos. Sa susunod po, itutuloy po natin ang Laudato Si ni Pope Francis. In the meantime, kami po'y umaapila sa inyo na maging kasambuhay, Pauline, 
cooperator. Sa panong paraan, number one po sa inyong mga lab offerings para maituloy-tuloy po natin itong ating ginagawa linggo-linggo sa Facebook, sa YouTube, no? at sa TV Maria, kailangan po natin siyempre ang funding. So maraming salamat po sa inyong mga lab offerings na sa screen po ang mga accounts na pwede nyo pong gamitin upang i-share ang inyong mga blessings. Pangalawa po, you can be a kasambuhay Poland Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng promotion. Nasa screen po natin ang iba't ibang cable networks at ang iba't ibang mga digital addresses na gamit po natin sa ating pong apostolado. And then of course, we would like to invite you to be a kasambuhay Poline Cooperator sa pamagitan po ng inyong mass intentions at feedbacks. Nasa screen po natin ang ating pong, uh, mga text number o ang ating text mobile number. Sa ngalan po ni Father Resti de la Peña, lahat po ng staff ng St. Paul Audiovisuals at Sambuhay TV, kasama na po riyan si Cleric Kiv Di Matatak, doing all for the gospel, iniiwan po namin sa inyo ang panalangin ng aming pong founder, si Blessed James Alberione, to spend the week well. My dear and sweet Mother Mary, keep your holy hand upon me, guard my mind, my heart, my senses that I may never commit sin. Bless my thoughts, affections, words, and actions, that I may always please you and Jesus my God, Jesus and Mary. Give me your most holy blessings. Amen.